Hello everybody and welcome to another toy review. Today, thanks to the guys over at Sir Toys, we're taking a look at the Happy Cubot 2 series. This is the character Frog. Uh, if you haven't ever watched Happy Cubot, I honestly suggest that you do. It's a very refreshing Chinese series. It's a live action Chinese series and kind of combines the best parts of things like Digimon and Power Rangers and Transformers. It's about two school kids. They own all of these small pets. Uh, they are literally, this is pretty much to scale. And there's bad guys that attack. They're kind of animals as well. These animals grow to human size and then transform into robots and do battle. It's actually a thoroughly enjoyable series. I don't understand a word they're saying, but it's fun to watch nonetheless. Now, this is Frog. He's one of the lead animals. Unfortunately, this is the Series 2 Frog, and he doesn't come with his guitar sword. Uh, the Series 1 Frog did, uh, although it was nowhere near as accurate as this version is. He comes with these goggles, which can slide down over his face and we have arms that do come out rotate round and we have legs that rotate feet that can move up and down legs can go forwards and backwards all in all he is pretty spot on for screen accuracy plastic quality on this toy is fantastic it's brought to us by the guys at Audi the guys that done the space deleter and of course the super wings line like I mentioned in those videos, it is easily on par with the likes of Bandai. It's thick, robust, and extremely well made. Paint applications on this are pretty darn good, considering it is a small child's toy. The eyes are mind-boggling. Oh, almost like Hypnotoad, isn't it? Woo. Very nice figure. Very nice indeed. For all of you Transformer fans out there, scale-wise, he's probably about the size of a large deluxe. Now, unfortunately, I can't make this one grow to the size of a human, but I can transform him. Our first port of action is to just untab the head. That comes up. These legs are tabbed in at the back here. Just pull those away from that back section and bring the legs out. And now allows this section to be brought back down. This whole section here kind of all tabs in and around. So let's sort the legs out first. Let's bring those down and extend the feet outwards. Very, very simple, very easy to follow. Kids are going to love these. These arms here are tabbed in at the waist. You wanna just untab those. Come round to the back, untab the butt plug. Pull down this back section here, and now we get a head reveal. We can flip up this head, bring this back section back up again, tab that in, tab this into the top section, and then fold it back over on itself to form a frog head backpack. The arms go around to the back, and we can bring down these arms, flip this section down, and then pull and extend the arms outwards. You can then just tidy up the arms at the back by facing them upwards and sliding them in to the frog head, keeping them clear out of the way. And there we have him in his battling robot mode. Again, like I said in his frog mode, very, very true to his screen appearance, albeit unfortunately we don't get his guitar sword. Now you may be thinking, why does he have big random ball joints on his shoulders? Uh, you've got to choose to ignore those for now, and they come into play when we get the dragonfly figure, which can actually merge with him and all kind of pins on. If we ignore them, he is spot on. He really is. Unfortunately, they are just a little bit obvious, aren't they? Good, clean paint applications throughout on this guy. Nice use of the clear yellow plastic. Nothing's brittle. Nothing feels like it's going to break. I could probably bludgeon somebody to death with this. It's a big, solid toy. Uh, the head does rotate. The shoulders 
go up and down, swivel up and down. You've got this kind of butterfly joint in here now to add an additional ball joint. There's a rotation at the upper arm, nothing at the elbow, unfortunately. I would have liked an elbow bend, but beggars cannot be choosers. The wrist does rotate, no rotation at the waist. Legs come this far forwards, this far back, all the way out to the side. No rotation there. There's a nice deep bend at the knee. And we do have an up and down motion and a rocker on that foot, but no sideways pivoting, I'm afraid. Now, scale-wise for his bot mode, I believe it's probably more comparable to that of a Voyager figure as opposed to a large deluxe. I do like this line. They are fun, fun toys. I know there is a dragon mech armor for these as well. I really want to get that one. I know Sir Toys has quite a few of these up on his page. I've just put it in a big order for more of the Super Wings. So I think I'm going to order some more of these guys as well. Go and check the TV series out. There's quite a few episodes already on YouTube. Um, if you note my title of the video, I've also included the Chinese spelling. So you could just search that via YouTube and the episodes will come up. If you found this video useful, please give it a big thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. And until next time from myself and Frog, thanks for watching. Goodbye.